Grandpa is going to her very first sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. Welcome to my sleepover! I'll pick you up in the morning. <laughs> Bucky Badger, Susie Sheep, and Emily Elephant are already here. Don't stay up too late, girls, and don't be too loud. Daddy Zebra has to get up early to deliver the post. Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. Sleepovers are for big girls only. Mummy Zebra has woken up. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now into your sleeping bags, please! What can we do now? At sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. It's when we eat things in secret. The girls head to the kitchen. They each grab some delicious fruit, perfect for a midnight feast. The floorboard creaks. Oh no, Mommy Zebra has woken up. You wake Daddy Zebra up. Now who knows a good bedtime story? The girls take turns. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy, Susie begins. And she lived in the forest, Peppa continues. And the fairy met a big monster who went roar, Emily says with a big elephant trumpet noise. Oh dear, the noise has woken Daddy Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy and a big scary monster. And who knows even what happened? Very well. The monster lifted up his great, big, furry paws and walked along on his big, hairy feet and sang, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Daddy Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep.